The Wigfrid rework is here, everyone. And while we are all still debating about its place in the character refresh hierarchy, new skins dropped right alongside it and could, quite honestly, steal the bloody show. Just like that incredible animation of Wigfrid's did just yesterday. Oh boy. Good stuff. What is also good is 17 plus new skin items to collect, weave, or purchase, and my gosh, given the way of the world currently, I cannot say that I was expecting even anywhere near that. So thank you very much there, Clay. Looks like we have some chest opening to do. And don't you worry about picking and choosing which skins to actually go for, only to be potentially disappointed, for Beard here has got you covered like always. It is time for another fashion show, folks. And what a way to begin with a winged victory skin for Wigfrid, a character that arguably already had some of the best skins in the game. So why not just one more? It is so, so good, especially when combined with some of the new skins for her gear, of which we'll be talking about soon. Oh, and it's blue. How can you not love blue? You have also gotta love that Wigford was apparently filthy rich back in the day, but ultimately chose her desire for performance over everything. That said, I am sure she attended many parties, so these guests of honor garbs likely got much use. Now, I'm gonna be honest, the rest of her skins shown here today are probably pretty tame in comparison to the Winged Victory one. But let's remember the times, everyone. Clay is working hard, but also working remotely. And even with that, they still have managed to deliver updates of high class. So I'd view that as a triumph more than anything. Oh, and would you look at that, everyone? It is Wigfrid's triumphant skin. Wow. It's like I scripted this video or something. But my one gripe with it is that usually our survivors have a meaner look to them while they're in their triumphant getup. But not Wickford here for whatever reason. Especially with a quote like that, but with the calm face, it just doesn't really work. And while it is entirely possible that Wigford does have a different side to her that we have just never seen, putting her in this rosette getup also doesn't work for me. I mean, I absolutely love the colors and the thorns in her hair, but it just doesn't fit Wigfrid's style for me. At least not the style we've been accustomed to, which is the Wigfrid from the constant that we've grown to know. That Wigfrid being the hardcore fighter looking to throw herself at the world to tackle everything head on. The survivor side of our Viking wannabe actor here. Also, who now apparently sings. But the survivor skin itself is all right, of course. I certainly wouldn't mess with her if I saw her. But Beard, what about those new skins for some armor and weapons that you mentioned? What is their deal? Well, let's open box number two to find out, shall we? And first up is the winged spear skin for the battle spear. Beautiful, big, and blue. What more could you possibly want? Oh, and the bloody thing has Pegasus wings to boot, just like most of Wigfrid's newest winged warrior getup. Very, very nice. But that's not all, folks. What is a winged warrior without her winged helmet? And in typical video game fashion, the woman character has armor that doesn't really look like it would armor up anything, and yet it is still some of the best in the flippin' game. The winged victory battle helm is glorious. Simply glorious. However, before we get to another new skin that all can relish in, here's just Wickford in her entire new Winged Victory Ensemble. That's right, girl. Flex on them. And heck, with all them bloody wings on ya, why don't you just fly away? But about all that fun for all the other characters. Say hello to the newest set of marble armor, everyone. A skin that actually looks like a literal suit of marble and is just stellar to look at. The winged victory aesthetic of this rework update, along of course with Wigfrid Short, are by far the best things to come from this release. 
However, this release is not all about Wigfred, everyone. At least not on the skin side of things. For you see, even after all of that, we still aren't done, as the starter pack 2020 would like a word. But before you go ahead and get it, you should probably know what's even in it. And I'm kind of glad you asked that, because I don't really want people to believe that it contains all new stuff, because... It actually doesn't. Four prior skins from Weber, Willow, Wigford, and Wilson are contained within box number three, alongside Wartox's character as a whole, which could actually be enticing to some of you. That said, there are indeed some new skins within. So, let us fire through them, shall we? The Weathered Spear arrives in an already vast line of spear skins. But hey, stuff is stuff. But no, seriously, we have like 80 bajillion spear skins, it is actually nuts. Heck, I don't even have them all to even showcase them all to begin with. But, I like the new one, although if anything ever looked like a throwing spear, and thus made me want throwable spears, it is this guy right here. Oh, and by the by, a new spear skin typically means two new magic staff skins for of course the fire and ice staff as well. Only, that is not the case this time, sadly. It would have been actually kind of cool to see some, like, chipped gems at the end of some staffs given the aesthetic, but oh well. Next up is the mini beefalo carry-all. The newest backpack skin, everyone. And similar to Spears, there are numerous carry-alls to even choose from to begin with in this game. So, just have at it, I guess. The Beefalo one is pretty darn adorable. Ah, the Patchwork Quilt, aka a skin for the fur roll. Something that many folk probably don't even think about, but hey, when you do think about it, at least you got some options. Albeit just options of simple color changes, really, but it's still a thing. Sleep tight and don't let the meteors bite. Oh, and don't forget to put on your jammies, either. Jammies were kind of sort of already in the game, really, but like blue and stuff. So while these two new skins are technically new, I believe, they're not really actually no. So moving on. But actually, there you have it, everyone. All the new and or just available skins from the Wakefrid rework update. Wow. Like I said before, really didn't expect so dang many, and for so many to be actually lovely additions. So thanks again, Clay, and be sure to get you some, folks, especially some of Wakefrid's new dues. Also, be sure to check back here tomorrow for the newest Twitch drop, the Sorcerer's Circle to boot. Thanks for watching, everybody. Well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.